Hey guys, welcome back to the Curious Cat Bakery YouTube channel. Today we're talking vegan holidays. I think we can all agree that the holidays are a time for food, right? I mean, you look back at all my photos from holidays and they're pretty much all around the table. And when I went vegan 10 years ago, I had no idea what to expect. I mean, were the holidays just gonna be ruined because I was vegan? Was everything gonna taste super bland? Was I gonna miss what I used to have? So today I'm tackling all of those questions and explaining to you why they're not true. So let's talk vegan holidays. Let's do this. Tip number one, don't focus on what you're missing. Focus on what you can have. So yeah, let's be real. You're not gonna be eating the same things as you used to have. You're not gonna have the turkey. You're not gonna have the cheesy casserole. You're not gonna have the ham for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Hanukkah, fill in the blank holiday. It's gonna look a little different. But don't focus on that. What you're doing is probably romanticizing it too much. Like, kind of like after a breakup and you're only thinking about the good parts and forgetting the time where he stood you up at the restaurant. Like, don't focus on that. Focus on what you can have. When I first went vegan, my biggest thing was Christmas because every Christmas I used to have this codfish dish called bacalhau that's Portuguese that my grandmother used to make. And that was the thing I looked forward to every single Christmas. So thinking about not having it was just heartbreaking. It wasn't gonna be Christmas without it. So then I just, you know, wasted so much energy thinking about that until I realized, listen, this is not the end all be all. So what I worked out with my grandmother was that I just asked her, you know what? Instead of just making one huge dish of bacalhau, please just put, up, put the vegetables in a different thing for me. It still had the same spices, it still had that same olive oil, it still had that same taste, except it didn't have the fish. So I could still feel like I was being a part of Christmas dinner without actually having to eat any meat. Does that make sense? Tip number two, don't reinvent the wheel. Think about what's already vegan on your table. So one of the things that you're probably forgetting in your wallowing about all the things that you can't have anymore, is that a lot that's on the table? it's already vegan or it could be made vegan with like the tiniest changes so pasta probably vegan cranberry sauce vegan dinner rolls probably vegan vegetables obviously vegan and then you have some others that could just easily be made vegan with like the tiniest little changes mashed potatoes put that soy milk and vegan butter instead of regular milk and regular butter done vegan yams hold the marshmallows vegan mm. stuffing, swap out the chicken broth for vegetable broth. Boom, vegan. If there's a cheesy sauce on something, put the sauce on the side. That easy. Okay, tip number three. Don't try to convert your friends and family at the dinner table. Change your menu, not theirs. You guys, I cannot express this strongly enough. Today, is not the day to try to convert your friends and family to veganism. It's just not, okay? Like, I am sure you had your reasons to go vegan. I did it for ethical reasons. You might have done it for your health. You might have done it for the planet. Those are all awesome reasons. And I'm gonna say this very clearly. Uh, nobody cares. Not at the holiday dinner table. You are not going to get anything out of trying to convince your friends and family that going vegan is a good idea at the holiday table, nobody cares, all you're gonna get is a headache. If you try to tell your Aunt Sue that the turkey that she's eating came from a factory farm, she's not gonna care. She's not gonna care. And then you're gonna get frustrated and your holidays are gonna be ruined. So don't even bother. People are really attached to tradition and the holidays. Plus they have like a bunch of stuff that they have to do and they're stressed out. The last thing that they want is to have somebody telling them that what they are used to and what they like to do is wrong. It doesn't matter if it is wrong or not. I mean, you know I know what you're thinking. You know I agree with you. However, it's not gonna get you anywhere at the dinner table during the holidays. And if you try to tell them like, listen, I think we should change the menu completely. I know I've been doing this for like years and years and it's always been like this, but now I change my diet and I think we should change it up completely because it's, you know, it's more ethical, it's healthier, it's better for you. <laughs> you're just gonna have a very hostile group of people telling you that you're wrong. There's plenty of time to change minds and the holiday dinner is not it. Plus if you're gonna suggest changing the whole menu, 
guess what? That's gonna put you in charge of the whole menu. And that brings me to my next point. Tip number four, don't overcommit. Keep it simple. I know it's tempting to say, you know what? I'm gonna prove to you guys that I can make a fantastic vegan feast and it's gonna be so much better than all the holiday dinners that we've ever had in this house before. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna have all of the things. You're basically Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast. You're like, I'll make a vegan pumpkin pie. Oh, you don't like pumpkin pie? That's totally okay. I'm gonna make a sweet potato pie too. Just to prove to you that I can make both pies. I'm gonna make vegan yams. I'm gonna make vegan mashed potatoes. I'm gonna make vegan stuffing. I'm gonna make a vegan roast. I'm gonna make vegan everything. Everything! It's gonna be amazing! Congratulations, you just dug yourself a hole. And you might as well just stay there because there is no coming out of it. First of all, because I'm assuming you are only human and you're just committing yourself to making an entire feast for I don't know how many people. And I have some news for you. It doesn't matter what amazing job you do, you could turn into the vegan Martha Stewart and whip up the most amazing feast in the world. People are still going to say, I mean, it's all right, but it's not as good as the non-vegan stuff. And then you're gonna get so frustrated, rightfully, by the way. Plus, committing yourself to making an entire feast for a lot of people is not fun. You're gonna be stuck in the kitchen. You're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna be trying all these recipes you might not have not tried before, and things are probably gonna go wrong because things go wrong in the kitchen when you're doing hashtag all the things. And then you're gonna have all this pressure, and the last thing you need is your sister who always liked this one thing saying that this holiday was ruined because you decided to veganize that one thing and you messed it up and you burned it in the oven. So instead, choose one or two things. Keep it simple. Try the recipe ahead of time to make sure you know what you're doing so there's no pressure the day of and get it done right. I have a brand new book called Vegan for the Holidays. I'm gonna put the link to it in the description below. It has tons of easy recipes from Thanksgiving to Christmas to Hanukkah, Boxing Day, New Year's. You can just choose one or two of those, get it done, it's gonna taste delicious, everyone's gonna love it, and you're gonna add to the menu. You're not gonna be replacing anything, you're just gonna be bringing an extra thing, something extra that you can eat. And I'm just saying, you're not replacing the pumpkin pie, but if there is an extra Oreo vegan pumpkin pie just laying around, you think people are not gonna take a slice? And that's how you get them. Lastly, tip number five, be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again louder this time for everyone in the back to hear, okay? Being vegan is not black and white. You're allowed to make mistakes and then get back on the wagon the next day. Being vegan is about doing your best. So if you mess up, I'm here to tell you as a vegan that's been doing this for almost a decade now, it's okay. Don't just think that because you had one moment of weakness and you had a piece of cheese that it's all down the drain and it's all over. No one's gonna come and take your vegan card away. We don't do that, okay? Like, it doesn't matter what the internet trolls tell you, no one's gonna do that. The next day you can go right back to eating no animal products and you're still gonna be doing a ton of good for yourself, for the planet, for the animals, and they're all so grateful. Do your best and if you fall short of it, the next day you try again. There you go, those are my five top tips for you as a vegan on your first holiday season. I really hope this helps. If you have any other questions, concerns, doubts, Put them in the comments below. I would love to answer them and help in any way that I can. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys here next Monday with a brand new video. Until then, stay curious.